Hi guys, Al here. Hope everyone's doing well. Out today, but no motorbike today, which is unusual for me. Usually all my videos are based around motorbikes and motor camping and stuff, but today I'm just out using my legs. Uh, wanted to do this for a wee while. <laughs> Again, never done it. Always went out, so pack the rucksack up. I'm going for a wild camp. Uh, we just come down the Usher coast. Part the car and um, walking back up north a wee bit. So, see if you can figure out where I am. It's not a bad day today actually, to be dry, so I thought I would just go whilst the opportunity presented itself. Can you pitch a tent up here? I think I'm supposed to be down there. <laughs> yeah, I need to backtrack a bit. It's supposed to be a wee beach just over there. I'm gonna go and see what that wee beach is like. It's a bit windy. <laughs> track. We might go back there, but um, it's in the wind, it's got a bit of wind, which is probably the thing, it's, it's forecast to tail off as the night goes on, but we'll see if it's around here. I think it's somewhere a wee bit more sheltered then. We'll take the shelter. A path. We have found the path. Let's go down here. Oh, you can even swim. I don't think I'll be swimming. And that sign is just giving away my location. Right, down we go. Try not to fall in my arse. Now they found the pitch for the night. I was thinking about pitching here, but I'm not sure. There is a bit of weed in that, but that seaweed is just from all the recent storms that have been absolutely thrashing the coastline, so I'm not concerned about the water coming up here during the night, but so there's quite a few large rocks and it's not particularly flat, so I'll check out this other bit again and then make my decision. <sighs> decisions, decisions. At least it didn't take as long as I thought to get here. So I've got plenty of time. Just try and pick my way through these stones without falling on my ass. <laughs> Not a bad view, eh? That's Isle of Arran, out in the distance. And way over there. And top of the mountain, you can't see, that's Goat Fell. But that's obscured by some of the clouds just now. Right, let's see what this bit's like. Yeah, 
I think I prefer here. Just here, I think, that'll do us. Right, before I do anything else, I think it's time for a wee seat. Good thing about here is there's, there's loads of rocks I can sit on. I never brought my chair. Give it a wee while, then we'll get a tent up. I don't want to put it up uh, too early when there might still be folk uh, kicking about and coming down here. This could be a prime dog walking spot. So we'll just give it a wee while. But what I'm going to do is boil up some water and have a cuppa. Right, let's do that. Cafe 2 and 1, smooth and rich, nothing but the best, eh? Plastic. I don't know if you're supposed to use the plastics to serve these things, but hey ho! There we are, one Nescafe, out of Sashi, none of this fancy cafeteria malarkey. Believe me, if I could, I would, but I just don't have the patience for that kind of stuff, and I don't have the stuff for it. Maybe as time goes on, we shall see. Cheers. I think in a few minutes I'll get that tent up. set up after a huge amount of faff because I've never done that before uh, but I'm set up so here's my setup so we've got the OEX box 2 tent uh, in there I've just got my Quasha I think it's Quasha it's pronounced I don't really know uh, down sleeping bag that's rated down to about zero degrees or minus five or something like that so fine for tonight uh, I've got my Trichology UL80 mat and underneath that uh, there's just a kind of foil uh, mat and my wee pillow my rucksack is on the other side, and I've got plenty of food and water to last me the night. So, that is not a bad wee spot. A wee bit hazy, but still, nice. Nice night. Some folk down there. It looks like they're tidying up to go, and I think I'll have the place to myself. Not bad for a night's digs, eh? Right, that's me all set up. It's starting to get a wee bit dark, sun's going down. I don't think I'm going to bother with fire tonight, mainly because everything's soaking wet and I didn't bring any firewood. Uh, I could probably scavenge a wee bit, but not enough to make it worthwhile. I'm going to go for a wee wander down the beach here to see what I can see. Sun's almost away. if you can see that but the sun's almost away uh, behind the clouds there 
Lovely evening. It's not that cold yet. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit when it's time for dinner because I'm starting to get a wee bit hungry. It's starting to get dark, so just before it does, I thought maybe I had something to eat. So, pork pies. Two pork pies, can't even eat them. I was going to go for a pot noodle, but they're not very posh. So, I've <laughs> got naked noodles. This is hoisin duck, and I've got another one. What's this one? Oh, it's a bit squashed. Singapore style curry egg noodles. Can you whack it? I've also got some soup and I've got some coffee, so I think I'll be all right. I'll no starve. I've got some chocolate as well, so I should be fine. So I just wanted to kind of say a wee bit why I'm doing this. I've wanted to go wild camping for a while. I've camped off the motorbike before, uh, but that's always been in campsites and stuff. But I thought, you know what? Let's go wild camping. And I've been sitting watching YouTube, as folk always do. I've been sitting watching Colin Russell, uh, Paul Mesner, guys like that on their adventures. Uh, Colin Russell especially, because he's from, he can't be far from here, because he's camped just over there. Uh, and I thought, you know what? I can do that. So, I'm off on my holidays from my work just now, so I thought I would give it a bash, and here I am. First night away. My son's really jealous. <laughs> he was like, I just FaceTimed him. He was like, Dad, next time can I stay off work? Uh, stay off school and I'll come with you? I was like, no son. We'll go another day. So if you haven't already guessed where I am, it's the Ayrshire Coast. Uh, Killeen Castle's just up a wee bit uh, from where I am just now, just a wee bit north. So you can probably guess the rough spot if you have a look on Google Maps. So um, let's get my tea on because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> food in a wee dry bag and I've got all my clothes in another one, a change of clothes. Just help keep things tidy and I've got tons of stuff lying about the tent. Tea bags. Another coffee. What's this? Heinz tomato soup. It's not bad, that's six o'clock and it's not even dark yet. Nearly dark, we're towards the end of February. Nearly dark. Tomato soup and a naked noodle. You probably not see it, but way over in the distance there where Aaron is, hey, like Aaron. There's a wee lighthouse, just flashed there. Nah, you'll not be able to see it in the camera, I don't think. Now, I've got no idea how this will come out, because it is getting pretty dark, so the camera might be rubbish, but... I'm just going to walk down a wee bit and then head back to the tent, maybe watch some Netflix or something for a wee while. Had my dinner. <laughs> There's a the tent up there, see? A wee glowing orange bob. So as we are saying, it is clear sky tonight, so I might get some stars. Don't know. Oh, that's lovely. Right, so I'm just going to walk down here a wee bit. Then I'll head back up to the tent. You can just see it up there in the, the distance, tucked in the bottom of the cliffs. It's a nice wee cove, this. Right, that's me. Just come into the tent. Mm, it's getting dark and it's a bit cold, so I've got changed. I've put on my some of my motorcycle base layers that I wear under my biking clothes just to keep me warm at night. Uh, and I think I'll be fine. Down sleeping bag, down jacket. Don't feel cold at all. So I'm gonna chill out for a while. Be listening to some music. Maybe watching Netflix uh, before going to sleep. So I will probably see you all in the morning. Good night. Morning, folks. Chilly in here. It's quarter to seven. Don't know how cold it is, but I'm swear it. Two or three degrees. I did get up in the middle of the night for a call of nature. 
and it was lovely clear skies, but the tent was frozen at that point outside. So I'll get up and we'll see what it's like. There's a lot of ice. So that was, it was alright in the tent, in the sleeping bag, but it's cold now. Right, I'm going to get myself coffee now. Warm up for Packed up, but I'll not film that because you don't want to see me pack up a tent and all my crap. Uh, so get that done, and I'll come back to you just as I'm ready to leave. Yeah, that's me get my bag packed up and just about ready to go. But I forgot to show you something. I was shopping on Timu or AliExpress, one of the two for camping gear, and I came across a titanium plate. Right, so I thought that'll be ideal. Dead light packing, no bother at all. It's tiny. Look at it. I can put my whole hand across it. Make sure you read the measurements if you're buying stuff. I mean, it'll do it for like, a, I don't know, fried egg or something, but that's about it. So always read the descriptions. Hey right, guys, that's me all packed up, and as always, leave no trace. You can see the wee bit where there's no frost the tent's been, but other than that, you wouldn't know I was here, so when that ice melts, no sign. So please, if you are out, just be responsible and make sure that you leave nothing behind. Uh, ideally, that includes like, scotch grass, if you're having a fire, try and raise it off the ground in a fire pit, or down on the beach where you can bury it or fling the ashes away in the sea, um, but try and be responsible. Don't want to ruin it for everybody else. Right, so I'm going to have a wander off, back to the car. Uh, first of all, let's go back up these stairs. a coastal path which is this way. Yeah, I'm on the last leg back to the car. So I just want to thank you for watching today my wee adventure. Yeah, it's been great. If there's something holding you back or you're not sure about it, just get a bag packed and go. You'll be absolutely fine. You stay near the car, so if you do get cold or you don't like it, you can always bug out in the middle of the night. There's no shame in bugging out if you have to. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, where we might be back to more normal motorcycle content. Who knows? Cheerio!